Hey guys, Abs here. In this video, I'm going to be talking about content. When it comes to the internet, then content is king, and I'm going to be showing you exactly where we can go to find content for our blog posts, for our PDF reports, for our ebooks. Super cool content, guys, that we can lay out in a strategic manner on our sites or whatever reports that we're going to build. And for this, we're going to be using other people's work and other people's research. Now, just before I get on that and show you exactly how we're going to get this done, I just want to show you exactly how I came up with today's video. So I'm actually looking to rank one of my websites. It's ranking on page three at the moment um, for a targeted keyword, but the authority of the site it should be ranking towards the first page of Google. Um, now, I haven't done super, I haven't, you know, blasted the website with high authority links or anything like that, um, but the age is fairly high. Um, it's got some good authority, it's got some good content, and it's also got some good links pointing to it as well. And it's already on page three. So when I'm actually looking at the top 10 ranking sites, because that's my competition, um, I see that my website should be, you know, up towards in the, on the top 10 as well. However, there's one area that it's lacking in, and that is the number of, co the number of characters, the amount of words it's got on the actual page that I'm trying to rank. So the this graph here tells me the top 10 ranking sites for my keyword, and it's telling me the number of characters each of them sites have got um, for um, on their pages that are ranking. And on average, it's 16,504 characters. Now, this might be a little bit high when looking up and down here, because this first website has got way too many characters. It's got loads of characters compared to the other ones, or this one here has actually. So these two are pulling it up. But looking up and down here, you'd say about 8,000 characters is about the average um, for page one ranking, especially towards the top five anyway. Um, my website, on the other hand, has only got 2,334 characters. So it's actually hard to find out how many words you know, each, how many words th this equates to. So what I done, I went to Word, um, I added 500 words. So as you can see, we've got 500 words here. And if I click on here, this tells me that the characters with no spaces is 2,581. So my website has actually got less than 500 words on my website, uh, on the site that's ranking. So 2,581 roughly equates to about 5.2 characters um, to each word. Um, so what we can do is actually divide this by about 5.5, if we say. And I'll show you, if we've done 16,000, okay, let's say 8,000, yeah? 8,000 was the average. 8,000 divided by 5.5 equals, that's like 1,454 words on the first page or on your page that you want to rank, um, well, that I want to rank in, in this industry. So again, guys, I'm not talking about trust flow. I'm not talking about domain authority. I'm not talking about backlinking um, power or anything like that. I've compared my website with these websites and my website should now be in a position to be competing with these. And one thing that it is lacking in is the content. So this is why I'm going to be going back and I'm going to be structuring my content and I'm going to be adding more content to my website. Um, and it was fairly difficult for me to find topics. So I thought, you know, what can I do? Um, and this is when I remembered a technique that I used previously, or I used to use maybe a year or a couple of years ago. And I thought, well, you know what, why don't I do a video so that we can all benefit from this? So you might have already heard of this technique. You might already be using this technique. If you are fantastic, if you're not, then I'm sure you're going to get many, much benefit from this. So anyway, one other lesson to take away from this, guys, is the amount of content that you have on your website does matter. Um, and um, actually, you know what, when I do make, make the changes to my website, hopefully I'll be able to see it in the top 10 pages and I'll be able to bring back a case study to show you the only change that I made was added more content to my website um, and I started to rank more. And of course, it opens up the opportunity for you to rank for even more longer tail keywords. So anyway, the website that we're going to use is called Udemy. Um, Udemy. It's, um, it's an online courses website um, and you can more or less find everything on here. So let me just show you exactly what to do. So let's just say, for example, my keyword was SEO. So I'm going to type in SEO. And what we're going to do on here is we'll keep it sorted by popularity. And we're looking for popular courses with quite a few reviews. So have a look at this one here. This one's got 88 reviews. So it's actually got more than all these. It's actually selling for £160 as well. So the actual person that made this course has put a lot of thought into this. Um, and especially if you want to sell it for £160 as well. And it's got 88 reviews. If we go in there, we'll actually see how many people. So we've actually got 7,924 students enrolled on this course and only 88 of them actually leave a review. Not You don't always get people leaving reviews for courses or whatever. 
So anyway, what we're looking at here is we're going to go down. So let's just say, for example, I've got a website now and it's about SEO and I want to go, I need some inspiration now to go back and to, you know, add more content on my blog. Um, or I've got a course, I'm about to create a course for say an ebook course or whatever. And I need a way to, you know, lay, lay my course out in a strategic manner, in a nice flowing manner. Um, and what kind of subjects I should be covering and things like that, you can find out from here. Just search for whatever you wanna search for, whatever your keyword is. Scroll down and you want to go down to the curriculum area. And in this, it's gonna give you basically, it's, gonna, it's doing your whole research for you, for your whole niche. But at the same time, it's giving you, um, so you can actually do your re niche research from here as well, guys. So just enter your keyword in here, come over, have a look at the curriculum area, find out exactly what goes into that niche by having a look at the subheadings and the topics and everything in there. So let's just have a look at this. So section one is SEO tips, tools, techniques for link building. So we've got an intro and then it goes straight on to what is a link? Then it goes to how do search engines work? What is page rank and how is it calculated? Where can links be placed? How can the quality of a link be evaluated? What does Google say about link building? Then you've got things like um, link building strategy definitions and goals and cost benefits and keyword types. You've got keyword research, you've got competitors, link profile analysis, you've got link building, then you've got building links, um, how to research link building, um, you've got Google updates, updates and penalties, unnatural links, SEO tools. So coming down, up and down on here, I mean, just look how huge this is. I'm not gonna stand here and read them all out to you. And this is just one course. Um, and what you can do is you can come on here and obviously this is a course selling for 160 pound. I mean, another good way for you to might, you know, to come along and search for here is to have a look at the high to low. I mean, if somebody's going to sell a product that's super high, super expensive, for example, 405 pound, um, or, or this one here, then they've put a lot of work into this. And if they've put a lot of work into this, you actually get to see exactly what the curriculum is, exactly what the titles, chapters and everything is. And you know, you get to see it all from here. And these are all going to, these are going to give you ideas. These are going to give you niches, sub niches, micro niches and topics to talk about, to cover in your own eBooks and your own blog posts. Um, and of course it's going to make your blog. If you do use this, for example, on your blog post, then it's going to make your blog post super engaged for users are going to stay on your site even longer. You're going to have more keywords on your page to target now. Um, so you're going to get a massive search engine optimization benefit from there as well. So you're gonna be getting more traffic from Google. You're gonna have that content to compete with the other ranking sites out there, um, like I mentioned here. Um, and of course, you, you know, you're gonna increase the time on your site. Um, and it, you know what, it's, all you have to do is enter your main keyword inside of Udemy um, and, and and you're off on your way, guys. Um, so anyway, this is exactly how you work with it. Use it, make use of it, you know, this freely available. Um, you're not coming along and you're not actually copying the course, you know, it's, it's mainly, um, videos um, you're just having a look at the titles and it's gonna give you inspiration and it's gonna give you topics to write about and topics to cover um, and you can really increase your word count on your pages or of course if you're writing an ebook or you're building up a course then this is perfect for you as well so anyway guys thank you very much and I hope you enjoy you know doing your research